If you have a terrible tracking in your business, you're not good at sheets, you don't know what to do, what you do in the past is unsuccessful, or you don't keep up with it, then this is for you because it's simple, easy, and actionable. So today I want to show you how to very simply build a scorecard that you can use. I'm gonna use an example of a marketing scorecard because this is what I'm using constantly all the time for different businesses that I'm a part of. And so this is gonna be very applicable to those of you, whether you're launching campaigns organically, using paid traffic like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or Google Ads or, or whatever it is, this is gonna be something that you can fill out or a member of your team can fill out. And it's gonna be so simple and easy once you get it set up. And guess what? The setup is also simple and easy. So I'm gonna use my whiteboard here so I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. And let me get this set up for us for a little bit. Clearly that's a simple grid, right? This is going to represent a Google Sheet or an Excel spreadsheet or something like that. That's where I recommend building these because these softwares are so easy to use. You don't have to build any formulas. All you have to do is be able to enter some numbers and some text into some cells. So again, you don't need to know how to do any kind of complex formulas or anything like that. So don't worry there, okay? And then let's just say this is for marketing. This is something that either the head of your marketing team or if you are a solopreneur, uh, you can fill out. It doesn't really ma it matters who it is. Again, it should be someone obviously on the marketing team so they can be really accountable for these numbers. They take ownership of them. That's very, very crucial if you're having a team member fill these out. So uh, I've talked about this in other videos, but the metrics that you're tracking on, on a marketing scorecard, uh, they are really important and it's gonna be different business to business but a lot of the time, at least as far as the front end metrics that maybe you see in something like Facebook ads manager, um, or even if you see them in, in Google ads or TikTok or whatever, it'd be pretty similar. So I'm not going to write these all out um, because my handwriting is not good, but we'll just say, you know, it's spend. Cause I really want to show you more of the structure of how to set this up, not exactly the, you know, specific, specific metrics, but I will show you some of those as well. And so maybe it's just going to be clicks and then something called unique outbound clicks, cost per unique outbound clicks. Um, those are ones that I really like to look at and click through rate. These are numbers that almost any business, whether you are a, a high ticket sale business, whether you are selling continuity, uh, whether you're selling this, some kind of physical product or a subscription or, or whatever, these are metrics that you're gonna be looking at pretty frequently, okay? And something really cool about Excel spreadsheets or Google Sheets is you can insert a little note. So you would right click on, on any of these boxes, okay? So you would right click and you'll see something pop up that says insert note. And all you're gonna do is insert a note on these. And in that note, you're going to be really specific for yourself or your team member about what that metric is what it's measuring and exactly where to find it. For example, for the businesses I'm part of, I'm typically the one that builds all of these scorecards, okay? And I'm asking a team member or a colleague uh, to complete them, especially if they're maybe really specifically on the marketing side of things. Uh, maybe they're our creative director or our CMO or whomever. And so they're completing this and then I'll go in and I'll complete days as well is really important that you know how to find these metrics or what they mean, how they correlate to one another like I've talked about in past videos. But you wanna be inserting a note to say that, that way anybody on your team, let's say that your, your creative director is out or your CMO is out or you're out and you really need someone coming in here and filling this out and they're, this is not really what they're doing. Um, it, so they should be able to look at that note and like, okay, I gotta go to this place in this software in this place you know, uh, area to find this exact metric. I need to go to this spreadsheet to find this exact metric. And this is how I calculate this exact metric. Her experts like Ryan De Dice and Richard Lindner and, and other experts out there um, that I've learned from that I want to give credit for, for different pieces of this so that, that I've learned and how building these is it's really important. And they talk about how you don't use formulas, which is great for you. If you're someone who's like, man, formulas, not for me, they are too complex. I can't be dealing with all that. That's okay. Cause you don't need them for this. And it helps you really be accountable for your numbers because you are calculating them. You're doing the physical math. You're triple checking yourself. 
you're making sure it's A-OK. -okay. And so you're doing your triple checking. You're, you're, you're making sure all these pieces are good and you're doing the math. And it holds you more accountable because you're just going through, you're physically doing it, um, or your teammate is, okay? So you want to make sure you have those calculations in your little note. You're telling the person or anyone who has access to this, this is exactly how you get this number, what it means, and this is the calculation, okay? So let's just say, for example, you want to know your cost per click, which I didn't write up here. It's just literally spend divided by clicks, right? If you know, so... Type in your calculator, and that's how I literally put it in. I put it in the exact order of how someone would type the number in their calculator is how I write it out in the note so there's no room for error. And if there is, they're going to be triple checking, and they're going to make sure. Really, really important. This is so simple, okay? And you can have these for different teams. I really like to use marketing because these are numbers that I see many business owners not pay attention to. They, especially if they, maybe they grew organically and that's awesome. Maybe they're just starting out, whatever the case might be. Um, a lot of times they'll hire an agency or some kind of media buyer. Maybe they hire one in-house that they expect to know how to do all this stuff. They're like, ah, they're going to handle it. They're going to be paying attention to these numbers. I'm sorry. I've seen it many, 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 many times. We've, we've tried for the different businesses I'm part of to hire lots of agencies. They never track the way we want they don't care about the numbers as much as we do so trust me they're not they're not going to care as much as you do so either you get someone in house that you make sure you hold a cattle make sure they care as much as you do or you do it yourself but don't rely on your agency and expect uh, or your media buyer and expect them to be doing this stuff for you because a lot of the time they won't so really really important and there's other pieces of this right so you kind of just like I mentioned, password is as well. If you're running an event, for example, and, and leading up to that, then maybe you start your marketing two weeks out, you're going to want to have a daily scorecard. So day one, and then you put the date. Day two of your uh, paid ads that are running, and then maybe you put, maybe it's April 5th. And then day three would be, that's yeah, that's a five. <laughs> it would be April 6th. And then all the way across. Now, if you are doing, if this is just your standard scorecard for your standard paid ads that you're running every day, right? You have a pretty, uh, pretty locked in system and these things are just running evergreen. Or maybe you have organic posts that you're just kind of running evergreen. You wouldn't necessarily do it like this. All right, you do it a little bit differently. And this is to make sure that it's set up correctly um, and you can have just a, a really great systemized process. And so you would just have... I usually like to start on a Monday to a Sunday. So I don't know what today's date is, to be honest with you. And <laughs> and I don't have all dates figured out. But so it was just be Monday to Sunday. And this might only be a few days, first few days of the month. Maybe the month doesn't start until Thursday or something, right? And so you would adjust accordingly. And then the next week, you would do Monday to Sunday. And what are those dates are? Maybe at the end of the month, uh, it just ends. It goes, you know, Thursday to Sunday. So those few days... You just put in those dates and, you know, whatever it is, if it's Thursday to Sunday. Okay. So you would put those in there and you would have that set up. That way, you know exactly when to pull the numbers for. Okay. And you go and you pull them according to your notes. All right. So I erased that because I want to show you just what kind of what the other end of this looks like as well. And so you want to have something, again, if you're running a, an event that you're, you're prepping for, you're driving people to, you're driving traffic to, you're trying to get registrants, you're trying to fill some seats, maybe you're filling a challenge or a physical event or a virtual event or whatever that might be. At the end of here, you want to have actual to date. So I really like to use actual to date. That way, all those daily metrics you're adding up, you can put here. Sometimes, sometimes I do have a formula here to complete this column. I do that for myself a lot of the time if I'm filling out multiple, 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 multiple scorecards for multiple, multiple, multiple businesses. But maybe if you just have one business or you have a team, it's really important that you just make them do physical calculations. Okay. And then you can check them with a formula, maybe to verify accuracy. But I've just seen a lot of times people set up the formulas incorrectly if they're not familiar with sheets uh, or Excel spreadsheets, which again, that's why I said you don't need to be familiar. It's, it's not important. You don't have to just use your calculator, add up these things. Uh, do the average, do the, uh, you know, divide what you need to divide. Like, for example, for clicks like I had here before, you would add those all up 
and you would put that in this column for spend, you'd add this, you'd add those all up, put this in, in, in this column. And then for cost per click, you can just divide these two columns, right? Your total spend divided by your total clicks, right? And then you would have your number here, okay? Your total for that. But you want to see your actual throughout because if you're running an event and you're monitoring it and you're like, wow, we're like way off target here. These are not what we typically like to see. This is, is really going poorly. You know, you need to optimize you to make some adjustments. You need to turn off those ads and, and try a new angle or whatever the case might be. So that's what you're typically going to do for a, an event you're prepping for. Now, if this is just your, your standard evergreen scorecard for whatever you're, you're selling pretty much all day, every day, um, this hit, so you kind of want to have a target. At this point, if you've been running this for a while, you, you know your numbers. You have a general idea. Even if you've not been tracking the way that you're supposed to, you have a general idea of what your numbers typically look like. And now you can set yourself a target. I will usually like, so for example, if I know we spend 50000 a month um, and I want to be scaling, maybe I'll send, uh, increase that by 10%, okay? Um, or if I, maybe I don't want to increase my spend, but I want to improve my other numbers. So I'll keep my spend the same and maybe my, 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 my unique outbound clicks, or if I'm selling uh, calls, maybe I want to increase the number of booked calls I get. So I'll increase those by 10%. Then we have a target to work towards. And then you kind of do that every few months, okay? Because if you're hitting it, it gives you something to work towards, and you're fine, you're going to hit that too. Because you're going to find a way. If, if you're motivated, if you're dedicated to serving the people you're called to serve, and, and you're tracking this, and you're paying attention to it, you have good, clean data that you can make database decisions off of, then you're going to be able to know your numbers. You're going to be able to increase those targets by 10%. You're going to keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them. Okay. And so that's going to be really, really helpful for you. And then with your target, if this is evergreen, you also want to have, you know, your, your month to date as well. Remember actual to date, it might not be a full month. So you're not going to do it like that. It might, it's just going to be whatever time period you've been running for that event. But month to day, you're going to be setting up these scorecards on a monthly basis for anything evergreen. Remember, Monday to Sunday. A few other last important pieces with this. And at the very end of the scorecard, you want to be able to assign it to somebody. Okay? So maybe your marketing director. Or maybe you have multiple people filling this out. Maybe you're, you have some kind Again, it's okay for solopreneurs. It's all you. I see that constantly. I coach lots and lots of people who are... It's just them. They, they're the whole show. You can handle this. It will serve you to know how to do this and to do this even when you're a solopreneur. If you don't, I, I can almost guarantee you're going to run into problems You're gonna and you're going to make expensive mistakes because you don't have the numbers you need and you don't have them in one place and not easy for you to pay attention to. So at the end of this though, even if it's yourself, you just want to have a place where you assign these, okay? So the responsible person is going to go here. So maybe you got Bobby on your team. Yes, Bobby. Okay, Bobby's going to take care of the spend. Maybe Bobby's going to take care of everything on the kind of front-end metrics that you might find in Ads Manager on Facebook. So Bobby's going to take care of spend. He's going to take care of clicks. He's going to take care of unique outbound clicks. He's going to take care of cost unique outbound clicks. He's going to take care of click-through rate. He's going to handle all those things. You're going to assign all that to Bobby. And maybe below that, maybe it's more on the funnel side, right? So you got opt-in rate. Uh, maybe you got webinar views. Maybe you got webinar conversion rate. Uh, maybe you got order uh, order page rate, purchase rate. Uh, maybe you got number of book calls, schedule rate, like all these things. So you have down here. And so maybe that's something that's more your funnel side or your sales, uh, kind of your back end sales side. And so you assign that person there. Maybe maybe it's Susie. Susie's going to take care of that for you. So you want to assign them to that. They can see oh, I'm assigned to this. They're supposed to complete it every Monday. Okay, have it done by end of day Monday. That way you... Um, can review it on Tuesday morning um, or or maybe make them do it Sunday night so you're going to review it Monday. Um, actually, they would do it Monday morning because it's Monday to Sunday. And so you want to make sure they're completing these things. You assign it to them. And then you want to have something, some kind of system where you're kind of measuring if they're on track or not. So I kind of just like to do, I'll put it over here. And so you would have maybe just little drop down menus in each of these columns for each metric. And so... You can have something like on target. Remember, this is just going to be a little drop out that menu in the in the uh, in the cell. Super easy. You can YouTube that real quick to find out how to do that. So maybe you have something like on target, maybe behind target and off target. I like to just have three. It's super simple, easy uh, to pay attention to. So if you're on target, maybe it's green. You're good to go. If it's behind target, uh, it's like 
Not really where you want to be, but you can probably get there by the end of the month. Make that yellow. Off target, you're red. That's bad. Okay. And we, like we've talked about in previous videos, we're measuring things and only things that if they're not on track, that can result in a critical failure. If it's off target, you do not want to result in a critical failure because that means you don't get the sales that you want, which means you can't maybe fill your sales team schedules that you want. Maybe you can't get the money that you want. Obviously, we're, like, we're here to serve people, and but we're here to have income through that impact as well. And so you want to be paying attention to this or else you're not going to be able to serve the number of people that you want. And you're not going to be able to have the money that you need to take care of your team, your family, your loved ones, yourself. So really, really important. And if you're ever behind or off target, Bobby and Susie, they should be letting you know. You need to have some kind of upward communication process. Maybe they fill out a Google form for you. Or maybe if you use you Slack, or maybe if you're a really small team, you just text one another. Whatever it is, they need to communicate with you and tell you, hey, um, Samuel, we're, we're behind target for this month. I, but I don't know why we are. I don't get it. We're doing what we always do. Something doesn't make sense. I need your help. I want to make sure that we hit this target this month. So I'm bringing this to you, Samuel, because I, I need your help in figuring out why our funnel's not converting like it normally is. And maybe we go and find like, oh my gosh, we see that this day of this week, Cloudflare had an issue and, and they that's what our, our funnel's hosted on. And that whole day, no one could actually complete the opt-in form on our, on our funnel. And that's why we didn't have anybody that day that screwed up the whole week. So you might find these things, but it, you're not going to find them unless Bobby and Susie are as, as obsessed with the numbers as you are. And they're reporting to you, Samuel, this is going on. Samuel, we're behind ta uh, target here. Samuel, we're off target. We're like, this is bad. We, we, we are going to have to either turn ads off or we got to get some kind of promotion out there, a new angle or something different or else we're not going to hit our numbers this month. We're going to miss payroll, right? That's how important this is because I've seen it, right? If you're not paying attention to those, you're so, you don't notice until a month later about how bad your numbers were. And if had you had this scorecard, you could have figured it out. You could have seen it that same week and fixed it. But now you weren't tracking your numbers and it's a month later and you lost, if you're maybe a smaller business, thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars. If you're bigger, this could be millions of dollars. And yes, I see businesses that are, you know, seven, eight figures that don't have systems like this. And they just, you know, they've been chugging along <laughs> and they're making good money and they got a lot of revenue, but man, their margins are really slim. Um, they're, they're missing when things are broken and they don't have systems in place. This is hugely important. Okay. For, for anybody, no matter what size of business. So I hope this is really helpful to you. And like I said, it's not complex. It's not difficult to set this up. It's literally just setting up your columns, your running event, do it daily. You have something evergreen, set up your, your dates for the month, Monday to Sunday. You have your core metrics that if they're not monitored and something goes wrong and they're off target, it results in a critical failure. You're assigning it to whoever's on your team or yourself. Put, your, oh, put Samuel in here, right? If that's you, if you're the person handling this, okay? And if it's your team, you need to have some kind of communication process. Maybe they fill out a Google form, they send you a Slack, they send you a text. When you're behind target, you're off target. They can either come up with a plan themselves if they have... Um, if they're skilled enough to do so, but they also need to swallow their ego and their, and their pride and know that if they're behind and off target, you'll help them or some other person, maybe who's on in the C-suite or an owner or whatever will help them. They can reach out, but I'm behind, I'm off target. I don't know why we got to figure this out together. All right. Core metrics. Remember you're doing the math manually. Don't do formulas. It makes you more accountable. Okay. You're typing in the numbers. You're triple checking these things. Really important. Know your targets, know your, your actual to date. Uh, for daily, your month to date for anything where you're running evergreen. So I hope this is helpful to you. I hope you take it seriously because I was in business for many years with, without tracking the way I explain in, in my, my one other video, um, and without tracking like this, as far as exactly how to execute it. And just the, the numbers weren't what they could have been, right? We missed opportunities. We, we spent money when we didn't need to and stuff broke and we didn't catch it. This will prevent that for you. Like like Keith Cunningham's book, like The Road Less Stupid, this will help you take a road less stupid uh, and let other people like myself and other individuals make the mistakes for you, tell you how you can prevent those mistakes. So please implement on this, execute it, take action on it. I promise you it'll help you. So please subscribe 
share this with your entrepreneurial friends, um, anyone running businesses, anyone who's maybe at a higher level in the business, anyone who's in charge of analytics in their business, whatever the case may be, please share this. Please subscribe. I thank you so much. Take care and God bless.